everyone, it's Saturday the 16th of June and um, it's been a rough couple of days if I'm honest. I've just basically slept and slept and slept and felt so rough and snappy and mardy. Mardy, I don't know, does everybody know what that word means? It means like grumpy and yeah grumpy and like a child getting snappy over little things. Um, yeah, so I've not bled today. Um, I'm getting, starting to get quite, I would say stressed, but it's not stressed, it's more like frustrated with not knowing what's going to happen. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes a little bit, I um, can't really see, sorry for the squinting. So yeah, I, I just, guess I just can't wait sort of Thursday to come around when I go to my appointment in London and find out a little bit more. I also had a phone call yesterday, so on Friday, from my psychologist saying that could I go along on Wednesday at 10 a.m. because they've organised a risk strategy meeting. So it's going to be with myself, my psychologist, my CPN, the crisis team manager and the crisis team psychiatrist. So that should be interesting. I mean, they've never really done one of these before. Like, it's my psychologist has worked really hard to get this together to try and put something in place when I have to take the progesterone. I'm feeling quite optimistic about the whole progesterone thing at the moment but I have to keep reminding myself that I've like blotted out most of the bad stuff and actually in reality like the last time I took progesterone I was literally begging everybody I met to put me in a coma until I started bleeding again and if that's how bad it makes me feel then you know I'm going to need support and this is this is how I feel right now has become sort of my norm but I have to remember that this has never been my norm before this is a very new concept to me um, yeah, it's about half past nine at night and I'm beginning to think that perhaps I'm having some cyclical symptoms breaking through. So it's it's about, well, on Monday it will be four weeks since um, I had some cyclical symptoms breaking through, even though my hormones were radically suppressed. Um, I'm wondering if that's happening again because, I mean... I've obviously, like I said before, I've been completely exhausted recently. I'm feeling sick and nauseous and things. And then today, like, as the day has gone on, oh, I, I, I've been so snappy. And it literally feels like my anxiety is, like, seething through, my, through me. It's like I can feel it building up. It's horrible. And obviously I've been so exhausted, but I could, I could literally just run and run and run just as a release from it it's like I just keep tapping my feet and like I've got a tremor going on because I just don't know what to do with all this like nervous energy at the moment and I don't know where that's coming from part of me is saying oh you know it's fine it's just because I'm worried about what's to come from the appointment but the other part of me is like worrying that it is a little bit cyclical and something's going on and obviously I know from last time when I had the cyclical breakthrough the symptoms were nowhere near as bad as my actual PMDD but it's still not nice um yeah I just feel a little bit on edge and anxious and I just want to be around people even though I don't really want to talk to them I just want to be with people and I just like want my mum um I want her to to like have the conversation and me to just sit there and listen because I don't want to be on my own I don't equally don't want to really have to communicate with anybody so hopefully get some answers soon I hate PMDD it's horrible anyway then I just get on with stuff for the next few days keep myself busy and roll on Thursday